This is day three of Edie's board and train program. Today she's going to be introduced to sit and wait. She's also going to be continuing with her come command and her place command. We're going to start with the follow command. There are two types of leash walking. The first type is the follow command, which is an informal leash walking command. The dog can walk in front, behind, or to either side of me, just so there is slack in the leash and the dog is turning when I turn. The second type is the heel command. This is a more formal walking where the dog's position is usually on the left side of the handler and the dog's shoulder is even with the handler's left knee. We will be doing the heel command in the coming days. I'm going to introduce the uh, sit and wait command. This is sit, this is wait, and this is the marker for yes. A at this moment in time, you'll see the sit command. Uh, I must use my index finger right here, just pressing gently to let her know that this is what I wish. As time goes on, it'll be fine-tuned and I won't have to touch here. We have the uh, tap of her collar in the beginning of the sit command. There's some leash guidance, but mainly the tap of her collar and the hand signal and the touch with the index finger. What is the come command? If you extend your hands out in front of you and draw an imaginary circle at your fingertips around your whole body, when I ask the dog to come, it can come anywhere within that imaginary circle, even behind me or to either side, it doesn't matter. Within the circle, it doesn't matter whether they sit or stand. Usually they have to remain about five seconds or so before I repeat the exercise.
place.